welcome back to the Road to Episode 7, my ongoing series where I chart the road to the release of Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens, in December 18, 2015. And this one is going to be about a couple of things, um, as we know, as we should know over the past couple of years. News about The Force Awakens uh, sometimes goes through a drought, and when it rains, it pours, and it has been tipping down this week. So much news and stuff coming out from this Entertainment Weekly, I think, article, uh, uh, and kind of coverage. They had new pictures, interviews with J.J. Uh, Abrams and Kathleen Kennedy talking about the film itself, uh, talking, talking about plot details and things of that nature, which I'll cover in the next video. But this one, I just want to talk mainly about Luke Skywalker. We got our first look at him a couple of days ago. It wasn't supposed to happen, but it did. And I looked. Um, I just had to. I just had to. And what it looks like is that... Uh, uh, Mark Hamill dressed as Luke Skywalker in his outfit that he will no doubtly, no doubtly, no doubt be wearing in The Force Awakens. Uh, is standing there in his outfit with loads of cameras around him in a studio. It looks like some kind of, I think I read it was a 3D imaging photo shoot session, something like that. And he's kind of looking off to the person who's taking the picture, like, what the fuck are you doing? Uh, it's kind of a funny picture, and it looks like someone's kind of sneaked it on their phone. Don't know when it was taken, it could have been taken a year ago when he was filming the film, or it could have been taken yesterday or you know a few days ago because uh, you know he's grown his beard back, he's probably doing reshoots and things like that. Um, but yeah, I saw that picture and I felt like I was going to throw up. I felt a little bit sick and it was this one of the strangest things I've ever felt because you get excited and you're like, oh, and your blood starts pumping and you're like, oh and you get kind of that spring in your step. I just felt like sick, you know, like, oh, only for a few seconds. And then I got the wave of excitement, but I was, why did I feel sick? And it's just because it's like, it, ah, it's happening, you know? And I've been doing this series for like over two years now, over two and a half years I've been doing this series, charting this epic road to episode seven that started almost three years ago. We're now two months away from October when it was announced that, you know, Disney had had bought Lucasfilm, they were going to give us episode 7, you know, and, uh, you know, it's just crazy to think where it's all coming three years, and we kind of knew it was coming, and we've seen trailers for the film, we've seen trailers for the finished film, we've seen Mark Hamill and Harrison Ford and Carrie Fisher on stage together at Comic-Con, and it's been awesome, but this was the first look at Mark Hamill in the outfit that he's going to wear as Luke Skywalker, and that's what I was most interested by. You know, people were losing their minds, losing their shit over Han and Chewie in the in the trailer, and it was great. But for me, I, I was all about Luke Skywalker. You know, and I've probably you know uh, talked about far too much in this series so far. I can't really remember all the things I've said in these videos so far. But you know, I was always the Luke Skywalker guy. You know, everyone loved Han growing up. I loved Luke growing up. It wasn't just because I was called Luke. I just loved the character, and he's so relatable and. I thought Mark Hamill just, is just amazing as Luke Skywalker. And I'm a big fan of Mark Hamill in general, not just as Luke Skywalker, but to see him in that kind of outfit as Luke, it was just out of this world. It was unbelievable. Um, you know. And if you don't want to see it or you don't want me to tell you what it looked like, then you can click the video away now and uh, you know, uh, be surprised, I guess. I want to kind of have that for people so it's not thrown on them. Um, so, yeah. Uh, that's kind of just how excited I was for that and if you're sticking around cool um, so we basically saw Luke in this or Mark Hamill in these Jedi robes uh, not dissimilar from what we've seen Obi-Wan Kenobi wear from what we've seen uh, you know Anakin Skywalker wear at the end of Return of the Jedi the original Return of the Jedi um, you know the classic you know Jedi Knight robes you know the light, the light kind of palette and the you know and it looks uh, you know, there's this kind of, not white, but it's kind of like a creamy kind of color, and it looks a lot brighter than Obi-Wan's robes. And a lot of people have, you know, we can tell that they're going for the kind of Obi-Wan style, uh, role, you know, kind of, not role, but um, Obi-Wan style imagining of Luke as an old man, basically. Um, but, you know, Obi-Wan's robes are a bit more ragged, you know, more brown, and they look like they've been worn and stuff, whereas in the picture we saw, it looks like Luke's had his Jedi robes kind of pressed and steamed, you know, straight out of the Jedi Temple, and he's looking very nice and pristine, although, again, this could just be for the photo shoot, but, you know, the, the description and the rumors that we've heard that Luke is going to be like a hermit, and he's living on his own, and he's going crazy, don't quite match the kind of crisp-looking robes he has on. But, again, not to read too much into it, but... It just looks so cool to see him in that outfit and with the beard and everything. It's just, 
it's out of this world. It really is. It's so exciting, and um, I can't show you the picture for legal reasons. So you know, the picture got taken down from every website. I'm sure Disney are very uh, upset that it leaked. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it would be. <laughs> It'd be worth. It would be more trouble for me to basically for, to show it to you. It would be more trouble than it's worth. That's what that's what I'm trying to say. So uh, I cannot and will not show the picture. I'm not going to. I can't. I, I I just can't. My hands are tied. What can I say? So yeah, the picture of Luke. Pretty cool, eh? Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, that to me was probably the most exciting thing of the whole thing so far. I just, ah, oh. And it's crazy because the trailer was so much better, but I just got so excited that I felt sick. I don't think I ever felt that before. So there you go. That's my thoughts on Luke Skywalker, seeing Luke for the first time. But also, uh, the toys. The toys, I think, uh, either a wave of them have come out and a second wave is coming. Uh, at the beginning of September, they're calling it like Force Friday when all the toys are coming out and, you know, people clambering over each other and punching kids to to get to all the you know the the shelves in Toys R Us and to sweep them off and chuck them in the chuck them in the trolleys and buy them in bulk and sell them on eBay and we're already seeing it. I don't know what the deal is. I don't know if these toys have been sold early or or what, but a bunch of toys have gone up on eBay uh, for crazy money and already the scalpers are in full effect and it wouldn't be Star Wars if we didn't have that right I remember when episode 1 came out and there was news reports of just people just pouring through these like these toy stores just like piling up the trolleys full of these action figures it was just absolute mayhem and I'm sure the same thing will happen here you know uh, it's a huge market and um, I'd love to get into it, I'd love to, to, to collect some of those but it's just it's kind of, kind of past my time really. I mean, I had a lot of the action figures when I was a kid. Uh, the the Power of the Force line, I think it was in the, the mid '90s. I loved those. Those are my figures. You know, people who grew up with Star Wars, they had the original figures that they loved. For me, it was the mid '90s. I think the Power of the Force series loved all them. I'd love to to even get some of those now. Those I'd be very interested in, in actually getting at some point. But the new ones, they're pretty cool. Maybe I'd like a few of them. Uh, they got the Black Series as well, which is like the kind of deluxe, bigger box, kind of bigger figures. Uh, bigger figures. Um, and not the smaller ones. But I love them all. You know, if I had endless money, I'd be there with everyone else buying them. But um, not really a priority. But but the whole point was that uh, the Force Awakens line, kind of the basic just figure line. You have, you know, Poe Dameron, you have Finn, you have Rey, you have Kylo Ren, you have uh, Flame Trooper, you have my phone going off. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll cut back in a second. Okay, we're back. Yes, there is another figure called uh, Constable Zuvio, which is a new character we haven't seen before. Looks interesting. Uh, and then there's Luke Skywalker. But he is Luke from The Empire Strikes Back. He's wearing the suit that he wore in Cloud City. What does that mean? Does that mean we're going to see Luke from Empire Strikes Back in The Force Awakens? We're going to get a flashback. We've heard rumors that they're casting younger actors as Luke Skywalker. That is the one time where I just feel like, no, no, you don't recast Luke Skywalker, you know, uh, I, I, I just really hope we don't see this, I really hope we don't see a flashback to the original trilogy and there's like, you know, other actors running around playing the parts, it doesn't work, it doesn't work, okay, I really hope they don't do that, I, I'm going to try and have some faith that J.J. Abrams won't, won't do this to us, or do, do, do this to me, maybe no one else cares, but for me, you shouldn't do that, you know, but CGI it if you have to. Don't get another actor to be young Luke. That just, that's a no-no, you know. I mean, or use out, you know, use some footage that was never used in Empire Strikes Back. How cool would that be? Anyway, so, yeah, that's my thoughts. Because it's been rumored that we're going to get a flashback to Luke in earlier times. So that's kind of, that kind of ties in with it. But it, it's probably just, they're just releasing classic Star Wars characters in the same line, I suppose. Um, so yeah, uh, that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts about Luke Skywalker if you've seen the picture or not because I definitely didn't show it in this video. Uh, so if you've seen it elsewhere, let me know what you thought of uh, the, the look of Luke Skywalker. Uh, and yeah, lots more to come. I'm going to film another video straight away because there is tons of information that came out from the Entertainment Weekly. I'm pretty sure that's where it's from. Loads of information about the film, plot and stuff like that. So stay tuned for more stuff. Straight after this will be another video. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in that one. Cheers. I don't know five seconds.